as you see. Come on, right, entering the ring. He is out of the blue corner. He's in nine years old, stands four foot eight, weighs in at 75 pounds. He's got a record of two and two. So they got seven months experience in the ring. A little young boy, but this is what you want starting out. This is what it's all about. This Favorite is subject in school, job is gym. It's something that uh, <laughs> we, we've uh, heard that they comment from some of these kids. There's Making a, his long entrance. There's a correlation somewhere there, Dan. There definitely is. So. Coming around the, the long way, all the way around. Stone Cold Cody Butler. Cody's coming into tonight's fight. He's four and one with one knockout. Cody suffered his first loss last week in the Silver uh, Gloves down in Rochester. But uh, as always, Cody's ready to fight, ready to bring it back again. He's shaking off that first loss. He's not worried about that. Very dedicated uh, athlete, basically. Again, as I said, I saw him in the gym. He works out on a regular basis and does a very, very extensive workout. You know, I, I had an opportunity to uh, watch one of the Western uh, New York uh, Tonight uh, programs on the cable station, and uh, uh, Amir was on with uh, Mike Ford and uh, Les Ralston, and uh, Cody called in with one of his own little questions. Gets a great hometown uh, round of applause from the hometown fans, and... Uh, these guys, Mike, uh, Mike Ford had some great comments to make about Cody. Very fast, he's got a very good uh, future in the uh, in the sport of boxing. He does have a future if he wants to uh, wants to follow up on it. Be interesting to see. Right now, he's very dedicated, and uh, one of the good things that boxing or any sport helps the young people is gives them that discipline and that drive to set a goal and go after it. This fight, three rounds, one minute rounds. His right comes out. Comes out with, a good, with that good lead jab, good follow-up right hand. Letting his, letting his man do his, do his do the wild throws, but he's staying, staying cool, which again is another good sign. Keeping, keeping his, his own head together relative to thinking about his Cody's next seen, steps. Seen something there, listening to his corner. Mm -hmm. Right from there with a few shots of his not, own. Not getting flustered. Uh, looking for good the good shot jab, by Butler. Good overhand right. Scored. Getting that jab. Trying to set up that right hand with a good jab. Five seconds remaining in this round. We have one good combination there. Good combination. And in the first round, good first round for good both round. fighters. Good round for both boys. You notice over in Cody, got a good shot of Cody there. If we can get just a little bit to the to the right of our screen there is Cody's dad working ringside uh, with Cody. Pretty neat to see dad carrying the spit bucket nice, for his son. Nice to, have a, nice to have a family situation involved with the sport or any sport as always with any activity. That's another another example of uh, what what the team sport, what individual sports can do for young people is uh, to bring families together with their with their children. And we got a little information on Cody, and it says here he's very supportive and family shows us you know great following from the family, not just his uh, his immediate family, but I know his uh, his uncle and grandma and grandpa and mm -hmm. grandmother are in attendance uh, tonight watching. Uh, Tonight's fight. A total family situation, and again, it's a, a positive, a positive situation across the board. Cody's, Good job by Cody Cody's there. Stepped it up as as well as uh, Ramal Wright. Wright trying to his go. His opponent. Yeah. Mixing and matching. Cody's getting... Jamal getting one in on that one. Cody answers with one of his own. Getting in there with his, with his that overhand right after uh, setting it up with a left jab. Come on, Cody. Cody, get in there. Come on, Cody. Ten seconds. Combinations. 
Good follow-up right hand again. Combinations going good very well. Shot. Good round. Good round again for both boys. This will be a hard one to call. Yeah, that's the, that's the tough part of judging these fights. It really makes it tough. Both kids are landing quite a amount of punches for, for both of them. Excellent job. These guys standing, going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, just slugging it out. And that's what the scoring is. It's a matter of the number of punches thrown, but also punches that land. Yep. Uh, that are they have on the gloves. They have the white spot on, on the the middle of the glove, and, and that's how your main scoring system is. That's, gone by. that's where the that's where the scoring is supposed to be a direct hit, basically. Not not an off to the side type of thing, but a direct a direct uh, punch, waist up, shoulders down as far as the, the hitting area, and naturally the the head area also. Is <laughs> both fighters? Clear the ring, we get set to start the third round. Right comes out, Cody Nice. Both boys perked up for this final round. Good number of shots being thrown. Cody's looking for some solid, solid shots. Cody looks like he's looking like he wants to try to finish right off. Kamal is, is showing a good number of punches. Cody's picking his shots. Father comes right back. It's a good exchanges back and forth, back and forth. Cody Kamal just going right throwing, at him. Throwing, throwing, but uh, Cody's setting up, picking his shots, being a little more direct. Ten seconds remaining. That was the quickest ten that seconds quick, I've ever seen. Quick ten seconds. Wow. Very quick ten seconds. We hear the ten second go. Now it's next thing the bell. I think he maybe hit the bell by mistake. Yeah, yeah no way. Actually. As so always, the judge is going to tally up the car. Everybody's looking. At it's all over with. Three rounds. It's all over. Three rounds. We had a little mm, quick hand. Mm. As we wait, wait on this decision. You know what? I know the last time we tried to make, I tried to make the um, my predictions on these things, and that was terrible. So I'm going to turn it up, Chuck. Your your prediction on that first fight? Yeah. Uh, Guys always going to me. I got to. You know, you're the youngest one here. That's why we're here, here. Chuck. That's I know. why you're here, Chuck. Got to put we the pressure your on you. I hate being biased. You guys always do this to uh, me. Uh, Chuck, you took your time getting over here. You waited the last possible uh, second, so there you go. We're putting the pressure on you, my friend. You know, that was as much as I don't want to say it because, you know, I, I worked with Cody for a while, and I still work with him when, he, when he's in the class. It was a tough fight. They were they they both caught each other with shots. Uh, even though it looked like Cody controlled the ring, you know we never know what's going on with the judges. Right, right. I'd like to say, you know, Cody's gonna win. That. But what would you say? What would I say? He's what would you say? He's doing a lot of dancing around on this I'm dancing because I have no clue. I I uh, <laughs> I would say it's gonna be close. That's about the only close, thing I can right. guarantee. Well, I'm going to I'm going to let I'm going to take Cody. Very good fight by both fighters. But I would really like to see a rematch. I think it would be a good fight again. Yes, I definitely, definitely. I got to agree with you there, 100. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting his trophy with his match in the 75-pound division. The first one of our sponsors for this evening's matches, Sam Pasiri, Pasiri Barber. Sam Passeri giving the award. Passeri's Barbershop is one of our sponsors. Sam, very strong supporter. Yeah, he's been around uh, right from the beginning with Amir for uh, all seven fights, and that's what you like to see. Uh, very positive, like that. Exactly. exactly. Everything from the community. Your winner. Forty Butler is the win. Five and one gets the win. Good fight, as we said, it was. Chuck, I gotta agree with you. It was a great, that's a tough one. Yeah. Right. You don't want to be. Never 
want to be biased, I know it, and that's a tough part because yeah, it's well, you know, you part. guys know. Uh, Cody's enjoying this one, especially. That's, that means I a lot. So. Big time. Big He's time. a young boy, you know, 10 years old. He just come off a of, um, fight last week down in Rochester where he, he suffered his first loss. So that's got to be a good edge for him to come back into the ring a week later and be able to pull on a victory. Get back into it on the positive side, exactly. And that's what it's all about, staying with it and uh, not giving up. And that's that's Cody. That's Cody all the way. So as we get set for our next bout, it's a 115-pound weight class, three rounds in a minute and a half from the red corner, we have Paul